Hey guys, welcome back to part two. So in the at the end of the last video in part one, I added um, this pipe nipple here to see how that would work and the burner would not stay lit. Um, I thought it was because this disallowed the uh, Venturi to work uh, by allowing the um, gas air mixture to expand close enough to the Venturi. Um, somebody gave me a tip that what actually is going on is this is increasing the velocity of the fuel air mixture and um, so essentially that's pulling more air in and making it too air rich. Okay, so that's most of the air shut off and uh, that's uh, definitely a carburizing flame right there. Okay, so that's pretty touchy. Okay, so this is gonna be pretty simple, but what we need to do is have some way to control the airflow coming in the sides of this T. And the way I've devised to do that is to use uh, some of this scrap steel. It's, I don't know what gauge it is, but it's about six, a sixteenth of an inch thick. It doesn't have to be anything thick, just has to be stiff enough. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a total of four since I'm making two burners. I'm going to trace out around this and then on the top or whatever I'm going to make an ear and I'm going to mount this bolt on the side of the T here. This is a piece of 5 8 square mild steel. It's an inch long. I'm going to weld that somewhere in that area to the side of the T. Prior to doing that, I'm going to have a quarter inch hole drilled through here so that the bolt sits like so, but in this little block. And then I'm going to have a quarter inch tapped hole down this side that will meet or intersect with the hole that the bolt's running through. And in that hole, I'm going to have this eye bolt screw into there, which is going to act as a set screw for this bolt. So the first thing I'm going to do is make these little flaps. And what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to make one completely grind it out, carve it out, whatever you want to do, and um, use it as a pattern. The hole in this block that this bolt's going to run through needs to coincide exactly with the hole in these ears. Okay, so I've got all four flap shapes and uh, after getting them roughed out using a couple different clamps, first clamping it here and then clamping it here, I ground all four of them together for the last and final shaping so that they are all the same goofy shape. Do a center punch right there and drill our quarter inch hole. So the next step here that's going to be crucial is figuring out the orientation of the hole in our mounting block right here um, in correlation to these holes. So I want these flaps to sit pretty much centered, if you will, something like that. So actually I think I'm going to yeah, yeah, okay. I'm gonna go ahead and do this number right here. I'm gonna line all that up till it looks good, and this is gonna be kinda, hmm, put it on the edge of the table maybe. So this is how I'm gonna try to orient this all properly here. Um, I can really see that being straight up and down there, mostly. Looks pretty good. 
anyway, the gist of it is whatever you got to do, you got to get this thing straight and aligned parallel. That's the main part. Okay, now my flaps are not, okay, they're not straight on there. That's a little closer. This whole thing needs to be straight both ways on both axes and that's it's kind of a challenge. Now we have to do a little um, figuring to imagine where this block is actually supposed to be. And you know, I have, I have a little bit of leeway um, in this length, but I wanna get it as close as possible. Something like that. And I'm gonna go drill this out. I won't bore you guys with that detail. Okay, so I've got the quarter inch hole drilled out on this mounting block for the bolt. And that'll allow us to adjust the overall length of our little assembly here between the flaps and also lock down that particular flap. Okay, so we go ahead and hold that like so. There's enough clearance for that nut there, so that's good. Um, so yeah, that's, that's where it should be. And um, I'll be able to measure where that hole is on this particular one. Should probably do that right now just for, it's right at, 5 sixteenths on center from the bottom, so I'll make a note of that. Okay, so I got this uh, drilled out like so, intersecting with our quarter inch hole. This is the hole for the quarter inch 20 tap, so our bolt can thread down in there. And when you uh, drill in through there and intersect that, you're probably going to have a burr on the inside of your quarter inch hole, so you'll want to run a quarter your drill bit back through there again to uh, take care of that for when you put your bolt back through. I like to be very careful about making sure I don't bind a chip up in the hole as I'm cutting. Okay, there you have it. Quarter inch 20 hole tapped in there. Our bolt screws down in there and intersects with our quarter inch hole to effectively tighten and hold our bolt in place. I think I've got it really close. I just covered up this uh, these brass fittings with this old piece of grinding belt just to make sure there, there's no weld splatter falling on the threads and stuff and screwing that up. So go ahead and uh, weld this on. Okay, I think <clears throat> we're ready for final assembly. So I'm going to run this nut right up to where it's flush with the um, edge of this, uh, the edge of the pipe thread, pipe thread, the edge of the uh, pipe tee. I don't know what I'm saying. So then the next important part is to make sure that the uh, two flaps are um, aligned the same, so that's just a matter of lining them up on the uh, on the pipe tee, you know, and uh, figuring out how to run a wrench and then tightening this down so that we lock this This flap, we lock this flap 
The other side's locked with the uh, tack, tack weld. <coughs> All right. Okay, so that's what we have. We have flaps that control air that are adjustable as, as far as we want. And then we have this doohickey that we will screw into this side. And it came with a nut. I, I should probably should just take that off. Screw into there and tighten that down precisely where we want it. And there you have it. I have my temporary gas hookup right here. Um, that's gonna allow us to test this burner. We've got our air intake control system installed and I've got my extra length tube nip pipe nipple on here that was giving us problems before and we're gonna see what we can do now with this air control system and then we'll also test it after taking this off. This is gonna be fun. Hey, look at that. So again, increasing the pressure increases the velocity which this, this, the science behind this is all very interesting. And it's also interesting just how touchy this is. I have a little bit of a gap here. I didn't adjust that quite right. I need to go back and tighten this whole system up, these flaps up a little bit. Let's see what we can really do here. I'm gonna take this off. I'm gonna take off the, uh, the nipple and see how this is, how this is gonna work with the, original design of this burner. Take off this nipple here and fire this thing up. So I'm going to start I'm going to start with a uh, two psi. Oh yeah! 